I don't even see you. What I see is the wall behind them. Like, I'm just coming through you to that wall. It's over before you know it. You understand what they're doing, what they're trying to do, and work against it, or you're going to lose. Either you're gonna put your arms down first, or last, or what your strategy is. It's all determined in that moment. The goal is to make it an Olympic sport, and to do that, they've created both weight classes and gender classes. So for example, people look at me, I'm 155 pounds, but it's even more shocking to see a woman who's much smaller be a successful sumo wrestler. The men's sumo gets a lot of notoriety. You know, it's in movies, it's in magazines, it's in commercials. It has that bad stigma that's been around for years, right? Oh, it's just big, fat guys in diapers. Stigma and what people think about it is totally different from what, it, what it's like in reality. Sumo is supposed to be a spirit on spirit sport. It's like battle, but without the weapons. And not only without the weapons, without the clothing. Other than the mawashi, which is what the old farmers and the old laborers used to wear just tilling the crops and doing general labor. And so all you wear is this humble garment. All your blemishes are showing. Instead of Nike shoes, there's all your moles and all your pits and all your weaknesses of your body showing. My daughter is 16 years old. I told my mom, yeah, I, I think Serena, she's gonna be doing sumo wrestling. And she, you could tell on her face, she's like trying to fit that in. And she was nodding a little bit. And then she said, please don't make her do that. <laughs> please don't make her do that. Make the girl feel as girlyish and as feminine and as part of normal women as possible. When you have a body type to be a great sumo wrestler, you can be a warrior. You go in with everything you got. It's one of the few sports for a big girl that you can actually have physical contact and not have to hold back and not have to, am I gonna hurt him? Oh! I would love to see it become an Olympic sport just because I know growing up, you know, you were teased and it's the, oh, you know, you don't do this and you can't do this. But I say that I'm using my attributes, you know, my natural height, size, strength, to participate in a sport that I love, to represent America. I think every club is trying to do their best about recruiting more members, but the turnover rate of new people is a little bit high. There are between one to two dozen Americans who actually train more than once or twice a year. So it's really hard for us to say at this point what Sumo's future will be in the Olympics. It's like one of those things like maybe in a hundred years from now they could say like, my great great grandma was this, you know. So looking at it like that, it's kind of fun. Uh, anything else? Not that more of. Other than we got to get you in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's next. Go. For an hour, but... Oh. I said it all the time. Don't lose your balance. Keep going. You're better, right?